everyone. Welcome to our channel, Scratch Programming Projects for Kids. In this project, I'm going to show you how to make a voice operated calculator, which the input will be taken as the voice equation and the output will be given as the result. So let's get started. So let's go to the board, select EY, Let's just close this here and let's go to the the extensions and let's get artificial intelligence. We're going to mostly use the speech recognition result variable box and we're also going to get the recognized speech for two seconds in English. So first we're going to get the one green flag clicked from the events palette. And I'm going to go to the artificial intelligence palette and I'm going to go and get the recognized speech for two seconds in English. And from the drop down menu, I'll get the five seconds. So the computer with this block, the computer will hear what we have said and we can even turn on the spe speech recognition result and we can drag this down here and you can check what the computer has heard so now let's go to the control let's get a repeat and we'll have to repeat this loop up till the length of the speech recognition result. So let's go to the operators and let's get the length of apple. In place of apple, we let's go to the artificial intelligence palette and get the speech recognition result. And inside the loop, we're going to have to make two variables. The first variable will have to store inside the position of the characters and the second variable will have and will hold the current value. So and we're also going to have to make a list which can store inside the operators and the numbers. So let's go to the variables and let's make a variable we're going to put this to number and I'm going to name it in O. I'm going to put this to a number and press OK. So there's one variable done. I'm going to turn this off, the info variable. And I'm going to make another variable which will hold the current value. And I'm going to put this to a string. So let's do, let's make this name cur, and that will be standing for current. So, okay, and we're going to put this to, we're going to turn off it, and we're going to go and get from the variables, we're going to get the set block from the variables. We have to get two. And the bottom one will be as info. So what these blocks, what these blocks will do is that whenever we start the code, they will always turn into zero. Instead of zero, we'll put the cur into a blank. We're not gonna put a space inside it, and we're gonna set the info to one. So now Inside the repeat loop, we're also going to have to put the change. Make sure it's set to info and change info by one. Now above info, change info by one, let's put inside the control, let's go to the controls palette and let's get an if else condition above somewhere we can take 
this is an easier way. You can take this out. We can put inside it. So now you can see the uh, condition here. And we should also make a list which will store inside the operators and the numbers. So let's go to the variables and let's make a list. Let's name it equation. You can see this. And now let's put the condition for the if. So let's go to the operators. And let's get a or and let's put inside the condition and in each of the diamonds we're going to put inside an equality operator and we're going to put two of them and we're going to put one of them in each of the diamonds so now in the first equality operator and inside the equality operator for the first oval we're going to have to get a letter one of apple and place of one we're going to go to the variables and we're going to get info <clears throat> and in place of apple we're going to go to the artificial intelligence and get the speech recognition result and in place and instead of 50 we're going to put inside a space I put inside a space and we're going to do the same thing for this we're going to put the letter info of speech recognition inside here but this will be but the 50 place in the second of a quality operator will be different instead of 50 we're going to put a period so we first will put letter info of speech recognition result. Let's put this one inside here. Let's put this one inside here. Go here. We make this a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to put inside instead of 50. We're going to put inside period. So now let's put condition. For the if, we're going to go to the variables. I'm going to get the add block from the list variables. In place of thing, we're going to go <coughs> and get the curve variable and put inside in place of thing. And we'll also get a set curve to zero. So let's put zero to a blank. So I'm going to put this and I'm going to put this into a blank instead of any space or anything. Now let's start from the arrows. So let's go to the variables and let's get a set curve to zero and let's get a join operator Let's put inside here. And place of apple, let's go to the variables. And place of apple, we're going to put inside curve. And place of banana, we're going to put the same thing wherever was here. So we're going to duplicate this. So we're going to put this here. And we're going to put this back into its place. So now we have done this coding because now we can take off the spaces because sometimes the spaces come inside the inside the list too. So this coding is for for taking out the spaces and only the numbers and the operators are left. So now let's do the coding for if and we have to check that if the operators are true. So let's go to the control 
and get an if then. And inside the condition, we're going to put a, an equality operator. And inside the first over, we're going to put, we're going to go to the variables and we're going to get the item one of equation. Instead, we're going to put item two. Because item, because if you look inside the list, item two will mostly be the operator. And right now we need to check the operators. So for now, we're going to check plus. And we'll need to do this the same for, uh, for minus, multiplication, and division. So I'm going to do plus. And inside the condition, I'm going to go to the looks. And I'm going to put a say block. And I'm going to go back to operators. I'm going to go and get the plus. Now, inside here, inside here, we're going to put inside the variables. We're going to put inside from the list variables. We're going to put inside item 1 of equation. And in the second one, we're going to put item 3 of equation. So now, if we're, uh, we're going to set this to 3. So now, and, and because item 2 is mostly going to be the operator, so that what this will do, it will check if the item 2 equation is plus so then it's going to say the and it's going to tell what's the sum of the first number and for the third number first third and for the first item and the third item we're going to do this the same for the minus the multiplication one and the division one so we're going to go and duplicate this, this here, and now I'm going to put, I'm going to put in minus here, and instead, you can take out this and you can go back to the operators and get minus. Can do with this and I can do that and this to put in a multiplication one. Duplicated last time. You can put this right here. And last one, you can do it for division. So now for the addition, 
the subtraction, the multiplication, and the division conditions are done. We're going to put one last block and we're going to put, we're going to go to variables and we're going to put delete all of equation. So whenever we start the code, it will always make the list empty. So it does not stay there. So with this, your code is done. So now let's run the code. Twenty four plus twelve. Now let's do it for the minus. Twenty four minus twelve. Now, let's do it for 24 times 12. 24 times 12. And lastly, we'll do it for 24 divided by 12. 24 divided by 12. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.